are at the Family History Expo at uh, Sacramento, California, and uh, Cassie Smith is interviewing Dr. Donald Yates. Okay, Don. Dr. Yates. Hello, Cassie. Hello. Um, please tell us, because you get a lot of questions that um, I'm noticing that people are coming up to the booth and asking you about your markers and and why uh, so talking about some of your competitors and um, it, and it, it gets a, um, a little confusing but um, I understand that you you have the only true um, uh, autosomal test on the market today which is the most comprehensive is that right tell me a little bit about it well that's right <clears throat> and uh, you know people interested in DNA testing or genetic genealogy as it used to be called uh, have a lot of choices today and we are the uh, new generation of, of tests based on your autosomal DNA. What is that? That's the DNA you get from mother and father, which is a reflection of all of your ancestry. Some of the older tests just focus on the male line or the female line. You go back eight generations, you have 2,000 lines, and all, only autosomal DNA testing can capture uh, and give you answers. and in, and good information about all of those lines. So we have the only true autosomal ancestry analysis on the market, and that's a product of our own R&D. Now, uh, I notice in marketing and, and that your, uh, your competitors do use that, um, that they, they also do the autosomal testing. So how does what you do differ from what they're mentioning, and, and is that, um, are they truly doing the autosomal testing? Yes and no is the answer to that. Uh, many companies claim to have an autosomal approach or a method, but if you go beneath the surface, you find out that they're a uh, method is based on outmoded uh, research and the markers that they look at are not truly random and not truly autosomal. Autosomal DNA is non-sex linked DNA. So uh, a male or a female can take our test. That's not true of the older test. If you were to try to, you, I mean you, yes. if you were to try to find out what your father's uh, male line was for the purpose because that follows the surname so right. there's a lot of interest that attaches to that you couldn't do it because you do not have a Y chromosome if you did you'd be a boy mm -hmm. okay. so uh, with the autosomal markers which were developed by the FBI in the 1990s and they go together to form your DNA profile that's the same profile that you hear talked about on police shows and it's good enough to put somebody in jail, it's good enough to exonerate uh, someone who was wrongfully jailed, yes. and so I think it's good enough for ancestry. So I know that DNA spectrum is, um, we, tr what I'm understanding is that you are trying to, um, you're taking obviously your scientific knowledge findings, uh, development of um, a, the true autosomal testing, and everything that you've been working on for the la for your entire career, and now have developed a product, a very comprehensive product in DNA spectrum, spectrum that's trying to present it in a very meaningful and understanding way. Um, I know that ancestry and genealogy is not probably um, people get confused when they talk about some of your competitors that this is what they put family ancestry um, family um, um, the family tree DNA mm -hmm. um, in the forefront so explain to me the difference in what the product that you're producing does as opposed to your your competitors sure um, <clears throat> our autosomal markers uh, as I said are a reflection of all of your ancestry and uh, they were uh, particularly chosen by the FBI because they're randomly scattered across your genome. You have 23 pairs of, of chromosomes. The older tests typically only look at, at chromosome 23. You may have heard of a, a company called 23andMe. Yes, I have. Well, so <laughs> we look at the other 22 chromosomes. On top of the 23. Are, are more uh, indicative of your entire ancestry. I see. And our method is, is based on 
forensic science as reported in academic journals. We, our database captures population data on 425 populations maximum. Uh, that's how many populations there are in the world. So whether you're in uh, New Guinea or Indonesia or Ireland or Denmark, you know, we've got data. On, on valid data on that population. A lot of the other companies use outmoded uh, diabetes studies and medical uh, studies and uh, their uh, definitions of populations are, are based on old, older outmoded theory. And what they call autosomal or non-sex-linked uh, markers really were brought to their attention and defined as informative places on your gene genome from haplotype studies. Now haplotype is just the opposite of autosomal. Right. Haplotype will just tell you about one line. So okay. do you want to find out about one line or do you want to find out about 2,000? 2,000 of course. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, um, and you're trying to, as you're promoting here, uncover the, the story of your life through, through DNA. Um, and uh, I, I believe you want to be a big part in the process of where they start and finding out all the answers to, right. to <laughs> yeah, their I, questions. I often say, you know, DNA doesn't lie. Uh, so it's it's good at, but it sometimes mumbles. <laughs> and, uh, it's good. And uh, so it it speaks in, in a full clear voice with our autosomal method. Okay. Uh, other companies had the approach of the oh we we have a a wonderful G Wiz product you know it's turnkey we just have to put it out there, people will come you know like sure. if you build it people will come. Right. Uh, we don't take that approach necessarily. Uh, we uh, have a commitment. Uh, to the DNA uh, field as, as it is continuing to emerge and so we believe when you get your results and your first answers that is the beginning of a lifelong learning experience with DNA and we're there to answer all, all the subsequent questions. Yes. You know.